Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Aries and this is just a little midweek check. Um, well, yeah, midweek check in for you. I will be using my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck and then I will pull you a card from the Awakened Soul Oracle deck and I will read you the meaning. So, let's see what message or messages we have for you, Aries. So Aries, this is for you. The Six of Pentacles. Balance. Nice. Giving and receiving. The Two of Cups. Good love around you. Nice. The Nine of Wands. You're very resilient. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you keep standing back up. The Three of Wands. Not too long ago, you were preparing or planning for something. Or maybe you were even waiting for something. Maybe you went on a trip somewhere. Whatever it was, you planted a seed. And now you're watching it grow. But there's a little bit of conflict now. This conflict could be within. <clears throat> so, you can always take the high road and walk away as well. You don't have to fight back with nobody. Ah, the magician. You're very magical at this time. You have all the resources you need. And I think you're aware of that. The Seven of Swords. Uh, maybe some kind of deceit or betrayal in your environment. Now just pay attention. Pay attention. The Queen of Wands. I will say this is you, Aries. You found your courage. The Knight of Pentacles. You got a routine down. Something to do with money. Just be patient. You need to balance something within your environment. Maybe you need to bring in happiness. See, the healing will bring some happiness into your life. And when you achieve happiness, then you can start loving. And you will give off a whole new vibe. Everything will seem like it's falls into place even when you have a little bump in the road the queen of pentacles this is an earth energy in your environment this could be a virgo a taurus or a capricorn <clears throat> and you've been thinking of possibly walking away but you're just thinking about it you're thinking about it because of a towel moment That's some chaos and confusion, okay? Might be an argument or something, but it might make you feel a little off balance for a while or for a little bit. But it won't last that long. You have good fortune on your side. Karmic good fortune. So whatever you put out, you're gonna receive. And that's the thing about karma. Let's say you're going to find balance. You're going to overcome this argument. Or this chaos and confusion that's going to shake you up a little bit. But you will be fine. Okay. Oh, I forgot these cards are bigger. Can't open my hand that big. Okay. So let's see. A message for Aries. 
from the awakened soul. Shadow. Now, usually when I see this card, I think about um, healing. Shadow work. But I may be wrong. Let's see. Shadow. Our awakened soul stands in front of a mirror that is adorned with the phases of the moon, the controlling heavenly body of our inner waters. She is hiding under a full cape and mask. She could be anyone. She is embracing the hidden nature of our shadow side, allowing what is underneath to come forward. She holds a candle to give her the ability to shine light on the darkest places and also in the corners of her mind and soul that are often suppressed, only coming up in dreams and whispers. Light can also create shadows, which reminds her that the work of self-integration never ends. She knows that she has the power to incorporate her shadow side by embracing it. This spiritual work will be a theme throughout her lifetime. The hard times in her life, the dark night of the soul, the times of grief and loss have all been times of great transformation and healing where she has learned how much, where she has learned much about herself and what is truly important. She knows the power of the shadow side and darkness. Okay, so the actual meaning, I wanted to read that part. You know, a lot of times people skip over like the basic uh, meaning of that card, you know. So there is nothing to truly fear in the darkness unless you're unwilling to know thyself. You are being challenged to do some shadow work and look at those things that you hold fear around. Even as a spiritual person, you, you are still a human. It is okay to have flaws and to have parts of yourself that are not perfect or integrated. Own your fears, name them, write about them. Find out why they trigger you. When you find out why, your ability to let these fears go increase. Your ability to let these fears go increase. Ignorance is fear's best friend. This is a card of illuminating your subconscious and all of those messages that are lying underneath. The hidden motivations, dark desires, and things long forgotten. Working with lucid dreaming, past life regression, med deep meditation, and soul revival are all types of work that, you can, that can aid you as you work through this. Shadow work is ultimately about knowing yourself, which is work that never ends. Asking questions is a good place to start. Shadow meaning denial of hard stuff, hiding your pain, not doing the work needed, ignorance. Affirmation, I eliminate and accept my shadow side. And the personal reflections is what fears do I hold around embracing my shadow side? So ask yourself, is this something that you want to face, you know? There are a lot of things we can avoid or feelings we can overcome, but it takes practice. I love you guys, and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.